What's up, everyone? It's your boy, NoranRad89 here, and I want to take this time to just thank all my new subscribers. We are almost to 100, so I'm like, oh, it's pretty amazing. I never thought I'd even be this high in subscribers, so like I said, I want to thank all my new subscribers and all the supporters of the channel. I greatly appreciate it. Now we're here on to Halloween 2018, the film right before Halloween kills. Ah, oh, man, starting a new era of the Michael Myers franchise. We're going to talk about this film, and of course, we're going to be getting in some spoilers. So if you haven't seen this film, you have to check it out and then come back so we can talk about it. So Halloween 2018 takes the requel path as we go completely ignoring Halloween 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, everything, H2O, all that stuff. It's just Halloween, John Carpenter's Halloween, and then Halloween 2018 taking place 40 years later. And oh man, like this film is quite an epic story. I think it's definitely a different direction, a different taste for sure compared to what H2O was. And this one was done by David Gordon Green as the director. He was also a writing credit. And Danny McBride too as well was a writer. And I think that's one of the key great things about this film is these creators. If It really feels like they have a love for the Halloween franchise and the character of Michael Myers. And you can feel it when you watch this film. So like I said, you can really already tell my vibe on this film. That I, I dug this film when I first checked it out, and I, all the times that I've repeated watching it, I still dig this film. So let's get down to talking about the things I really do love about this movie. So, right off the bat, my main favorite thing about this film John Carpenter and Cody Carpenter doing the music for this movie. I think the score, this is cl the closest to that original score from John Carpenter's first Halloween. This one is the greatest, I think, the closest to it, man. This score is freaking amazing. And, like, just as it plays, it just totally sets the mood and the atmosphere for all the scenes that take place in this film. Also, we have Nick Castle, the amazing Nick Castle, coming back to be the shape. We have two actors playing the shape in this film, and we have James Jude Courtney playing the uh, the other uh, actor playing the shape. I think both of them, like for the parts they did, it's all amazing. Like just the Michael Myers performance in this film. This is the film to me, like I said, that felt the closest to that original film. Like for me, when I watch it, just the vibe, the atmosphere, the way he acts, the way it takes place, the way the film is shot cinematography wise and look wise, I think this is the best looking Halloween film. If you were just to go off looks alone and cinematography and the way the film looks, this is easily the greatest looking Halloween film that we've ever gotten. And I really do enjoy the pace of this movie, just all the stuff in this movie, the little hints at all the other different Halloween franchise films, even though they don't exist within the franchise in this film. Like, oh man, just the little like homages they have, you know what I mean, to all the movies. I thought it was really cool. And just, oh man, for me, the writing in it is good. I think the writing, not in general, like the acting or writing for the lines, but the pace, the story is good. And the writing of the story is good because we have a lot of good tense moments throughout this film. And I'm down for the ride. Even the moment with the babysitter, like oh, that to me was really cool because they find a way to make us care about these characters in a very little amount of time. And I don't think her death gets undercut by the comedy that's in that scene or anything with her, with the child she's babysitting. Like, I think that scene is very well done. And you just really care for this character in a short amount of time and you don't want her to die. Also, Jamie Lee Curtis as Laurie Strode. I think for her, this one I think is the best performance she's done since those original ones like that's why i like this one so much like halloween 2018 i thought was a really good return to that original feel from halloween one and two you know what i mean and laurie i think the character she is in this film it might be a little bit unbelievable but i think the acting that she gives in this movie is just top notch her commitment to this character is really the best thing about like part of the best thing about this movie besides the score and the atmosphere in the film so let's get down to talking about my negative and there's really only like two kind of main negative like negatives that I have with this movie. Everything else I really did have a great time with this movie. My top main negative for me is Dr. Sartain and that seems to be most of a lot of people's negative that I've seen talk about this movie. Other things I've heard say is like that it's kind of not that many kills and the pacing is kind of messed up but Dr. Sartain for me is the biggest negative i just don't like plot point things that happen in a movie and it really is meaningless like i feel like dr sartain you can pluck him out of this movie and it wouldn't make a difference it wouldn't change this freaking movie like at all so that that kind of thing is what bothers me when you have certain stuff take place in a movie and i'm like 
I can easily pluck that out and it will feel like the same movie or perhaps be an even better movie, then, you know, I don't need that. So that's my main negative. My other negative is we really don't care. Uh, the daughter and granddaughter character, I really didn't get to know them as much or care about them. I feel like this one was really a lot more about setting up Michael Myers where he's at at this time in his life and Laurie Strode where she's at and setting up the clash that we're going to be getting to see in Halloween Kills and Halloween Ends. So I felt like the granddaughter and the daughter character, we could have had a lot more scenes with them in terms of getting to know them or being more connected with them and stuff like that. But still, I think this is a top-notch Halloween sequel. Like I thoroughly had a good time with this one. The pacing, the kills, it has a very original Halloween vibe for real so I really don't know why a lot of people knocked on this film like this one actually got quite a bit of haters when it first came out and I don't know why people knocked on it because the vibe the music like I said the score is easily the best second best to the original John Carpenter score this one is the second best it looks the best out of all the Halloween films and as I said it just like you can tell the writers and creators really care about this character and this franchise so I'm so excited to see Halloween Kills I'm going to be dropping my non-spoiler review for that pretty soon once I check that film out and then we're going to be ranking all the Halloween franchise films to give you my final ranking including Halloween Kills so you can see where they all line up we'll see is Halloween Kills going to bust up the list for sure and climb all the way to the top three and just bump everything down or is it going to be kind of middle mediocre ground because like for me Halloween 2018 was pretty top notch for sure I enjoyed this film like this one's going to get ooh. Halloween 2018 for me, after revisiting it, this is my fifth time watching it, after revisiting it, it's going to get an 8.5 out of 10. Like, this is a freaking solid movie for sure. Like, I really do like this film. And the only reason that I might stay out of the top three is maybe because of nostalgia with some of the other films. But as time goes on, I might have more love and more nostalgia for this film and it might climb even higher because I really do think this Halloween 2018 is pretty special. It's a good sequel, good film, or a good requel, as you would call it. <laughs> Thanks for sticking around with me all for this chat of Halloween 2018. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss a thing. We're going to be talking about Halloween Kills pretty soon, and as I said, then dropping my ranking, and I'll try to pop out some more spooky videos before Halloween comes out, you know, talking about some other movies that I caught, you know, horror films, or maybe some other rankings for other Halloween, or other franchises, or stuff like that, so... Stay tuned to the channel, everybody, and have a safe and happy day. Peace out.